Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. I've been going on about DMYI and people have been asking me why. But it's because it is rumoured to be merging with IONQ, the number one quantum computer in the world. Uh, and that, I expect that to be announced in the coming weeks. Apparently Silver Lake, MSD Partners, Bill Gates and Breakthrough Energy and an affiliate of Hyundai Motor Company is in talks to participate in so-called strategic private investor investment or PIPE as they call it. IONQ was founded in 2015. Investors include Amazon Web Services, Samsung Catalyst Fund, GV, also known as Google Ventures, NEA, Lockheed Martin, Airbus, Bosch. Quantum has long been touted as the next frontier in tech. Intel and Microsoft are also working on quantum computing. Now, IONQ has recently broken records by knocking Google's uh, record out of the park. The, excuse, I apologise for the background noise. I am in a noisy area. The thing is, there, there is just so many areas. This, this, this. If it goes through, I think this has got so many. This is going to be so big. Now, person who said this is going to be announced in coming weeks refused to go public but you have the quantum computing edge and the quantum computing edge in itself is good but to have the number one in it is amazing you've got to build gates edge and remember what happened with quantum scape and this has ties with quantum scape as well now you have and remember there's rumours that Fisker actually stole his battery tech from QuantumScape. The as well as that you have all the other major ties as well. They're saying that uh, vehicles of the future that you will have uh, drugs of the future will be uh, made by basically they're saying how you know oil will be found by this uh, basically they'll be saying they'll be doing everything but uh, of course if they if the talks break down who knows what will happen now we are going to go on to Tailwind Acquisition Core. Apparently, QOMPLX, a leader in cloud native risk analysis, analytics, sorry, which is a cybersecurity expert from West Point, is in talks to merge with him. Don't forget to hit that lovely like button and don't forget the sexy subscribe button. A lot sexier than me, just ask the wife. And if you want to be a hero, hit the bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. And why not check out the links in the description below. If you're looking for a free trading platform, you get a free tra share with up to 200 pounds, dollars, depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount. Uh, why wouldn't you? Yeah. I'll see you in the next video. I spoke about Tailwind when it was below $10 a share uh, and I said how I like the area it's in, I like the team, I still do, the complex has some big customers and it has some big growth ahead of it, it's not going to be a crowd strike but I think it can do well. Uh, Beacon Street, 
to go public in three billion dollar merger now this is one that's nine dollars ninety and remember you can request ten dollars back if you don't like the face what people have been doing before because they are in a uh, they're on a platform that's free trading and they don't have the customer service to contact their broker they are uh, selling off instead and it's gone down to nine dollars ninety and it's a cent digital acnd is a ticket symbol so you know it is beacon street if you haven't heard of it is a finance uh it's a finance reporting company a bit like mark market watch or motley four not quite at that level but you get the gist of it uh workhorse is meeting with the usps about the contract it lost i spoke about this last week uh, look it's good news that they're meeting them but i don't expect much to come from this meeting i think usps wants to get them to drop their lawsuit at the same time it's a time for workhorse to put their point across saying the contract you specified EV. You didn't specify only 10% of it had to be EV. And I think they can put forward their case. And the uh, fact that uh, B President Biden had stated that the whole of the government fleet had to be electrified. Well, and 70% had to be electrified by a certain day. Now, the <coughs> thing is, if, um, sorry, All right, this is what happens if government violates uh, a standard, a technical vi violation when it comes to a contract award. All bidders must respond to every component of an RFP and, and the government must treat all bidders fairly. If the government violates these standards, even if it's considered minor or a technical violation, the contract that was awarded is usually void and illegal as a matter of law. So, you know, there is still a chance, as I said before, uh, to get it. And with the president backing e electrification and the, a majority of the country wanting workers over ICE vehicles, I don't see. Well, and as I said, Biden is uh, putting forward three new nominations. That will mean his uh, party has one more vote. And they can kick DeJoy off. And that will, uh, you, can, you can see this yourself at your pleasure. And you will see, uh, I do believe it was DeJoy's chance to give two fingers up at Biden uh, in support of Trump. And where Trump was... Uh, spending his last days instead of being remembered for doing something good he's spending his last days consolidating power for in four years time when it's real another election so he could be classed as a kingmaker and DeJoy is doing the same he's trying to consolidate power Ford has been quiet throughout this which made some people think Ford is not part of the Oshkosh bill that uh, Oshkosh has bought Ford Transit and made it this way but you will have had fooled lobbyists in the year of DeJoy and not for money I doubt for money because otherwise there would be a money trail but for power and uh, knowing that four years down the line they will 
they will get help and this is what is happening anyway that's all from me i hope i've earned a like and uh possibly a subscribe and don't forget to comment in the box below it really does help with the youtube algorithm i'll see you in the next video